Last week on the Terra Show, we talked about Nintendo's new health console, and some of you actually saw potential. As Alexander Iris put it when he used the example of the Wii Fit in our comments, I'd say this might bring back all those parents and adults who bought a Wii for a home gym basically, and it being more fun too. I mean, think about how much money Wii Fit made. Nonetheless, majority of our viewers are raging out over the plans Nintendo has for the new health console. Serious Sam calls out to Nintendo to stop the gimmicks. Make the most powerful console in the market and third-party developers. That's how you win the console wars. They got to stop going for the niche market. While Chaotic Mayhem is also separating gaming from a true workout. I would not purchase a console that is devoted to fitness. If I want things, I'm going to go to the gym, go ride my bike, or go for a run. I'm buying a console for entertainment. I'm pretty sure this console is not going to be able to compete with the Wii U. But Nintendo has always had a will of its own, from the monochrome Game Boy screen to the small GameCube discs, even onto the Wii motion controls and the Wii U gamepad. Nintendo has been facing major difficulty trying to attract more gamers, and by the looks of it, it looks like the Wii U is going to be the new Dreamcast. But either way, Nintendo will prevail. Now why don't we go ahead and jump into this week's topic. EA Sports. It's in the game. This week, I'm going to talk about your favorite game publisher, Electronic Arts. Of course I'm being facetious. Electronic Arts has been voted the worst game company of the year many years over. Will this hated publisher ever return to its glory days, or are we expecting way too much from them? Lately, there's been a ton of bad PR revolving around the once-so-lovable game company. SimCity was broken, Battlefield was broken and is now slowly recovering. And recently, the news came out that Ghost Gamers was hit with a ton of layoffs, and an unannounced Need for Speed game has been put on hold. Dead Space 3 didn't live up to expectations either, and the same can be said about the recent batch of sporting games. Over the years, EA has gotten tons of crap for games like Need for Speed, Battlefield 4, and Mass Effect 3. But why are we forgetting that this game publisher has brought us great games like Mirror's Edge, Brutal Legend, Bulletstorm, and Shadows of the Damned? I think, honestly, one of the biggest problems is that consumers mostly focus on the mainstream games like FIFA, Madden NFL, and Battlefield. Yeah, EA has surely fucked up in 2013. They fucked up on so many levels and they definitely need to learn from their mistakes. But one thing I think that would help them is just totally forgetting about tight release schedules. They need to give developers more access to just making the games that they want to make. How about putting some really good producers on high profile projects and just delivering on the promise? It's not that hard. Battlefield 4 is likely to survive just because of the name. If they had named it something like Random War Shooter X, they would have been killed instantly by gamers and it never would have gotten a second chance. EA is very lucky to own a bunch of franchises with big names, but loyalty isn't without limits and the Battlefield name has definitely been damaged. So Electronic Arts, listen carefully. This is how you can redeem yourself to us, the hardcore gamers. Never ever publish a game if it's full of bugs or glitches, especially if it's an online game like Battlefield 4. We know that getting rid of every single bug and glitch is nearly impossible, but there are some limits. Improve your sports games a lot more before you publish them, or just offer a $15 upgrade to the last game. Nobody wants to buy a new rendition every year of the exact same game. Treat games like Mirror's Edge 2 and Star Wars Battlefront 3 with respect. Quality over quantity, guys. Come on, we need that. Look at the way Polyphony Digital is working on its Gran Turismo games and use that as a basis for your Need for Speed games. A new game every year is not necessary if it's not going to be awesome. You guys are saying stuff like open world, story driven, and that choices actually shape what happens in the next Dragon Age. Please deliver on this promise for Dragon Age 3 Inquisition. Don't make mistakes again like you did on SimCity. This year marks the release of The Sims 4. Don't make it just a graphical overhaul with a few changes. Actually make it better. And my final tip, please don't be afraid to be unique and different with games like Brutal Legend or Bulletstorm. We love those games, and even though they're not going to have the mainstream success of like Battlefield, you know, they're awesome. Dare to be different. What do you guys think about Electronic Arts? Do you guys think that we should ever regain our loyalty to the beloved company once again? What do you think they should do? Do you agree with my points before? Let me know down in the comments. I really want to hear your opinion. And don't forget, you might be read on next week's show. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out all the things down in the description. Love you guys.